Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, if you guys have been watching this channel for any length of time, you guys know what a white box is. A white box is a very early sample edition from our friends at Tamiya. And this particular white box has something that is really, really hot. This in here is the 140A scale F4B Phantom 2 airplane. And ever since they announced this about a month and a half ago, two months ago, people have been going crazy about it and really excited to get a hold of this. To me, it was kind enough to send us this very early sample. There are no decals, uh, just some copies of what the instructions are going to look like. The plastic, from what I understand, is finalized. This is what the actual parts are going to look like. I don't think they're going to have to change anything out on that, so that's good. So you can actually see what the kit is going to be. Plus, also, this is the size of the box that it's going to come in as well. So it's very reminiscent of the new F-14 Tomcat that they just released or released just recently so as of right now the estimated time for this kit to come out is late June early July and that is just an estimate right now we're not absolutely positive on it that's what Tamiya is telling us but you know hey COVID's happening right now and shipping around the world is really really backed up and slow so we're hoping that June early July is when these show up here and what I'm going to do too is we're going to open up on our website, andyshq.com, our pre-orders. That if you want to get on there and get in line to get one of these beautiful kits, you can go right on it's andyshq.com, go on there and you can pre-order and you'll be one of the first ones to get it as soon as we get them into our hot little hands there. So I'm just going to show you the plastic right now. I've not decided if I'm going to actually build this right away until we get maybe a further along kit that has decals at least and some of the other components, uh, but we'll figure all that later on. Very, very happy and excited to share this with you guys. So, let's get started. Okay, let's light this candle. The uh, only thing I have for artwork is this photocopied version of the instructions. And no decals, no color sheets, no color callouts, anything like that other than this right here. So let's take a look right now at the plastic. And I've broken up a few of the, uh, the model pieces here so we can get kind of a closer look at them. The way they've done the sprues, a few of the big pieces are kind of all put together and they're kind of, kind of floppy. So we're going to start off with part of the fuselage right here. And we're just going to zoom in and just let you look up close how everything looks on that, some of the detail on it. Looks like some very nice looking detail on it. We've got the other side of the fuselage and you can see the way they've cut this now. The, uh, the fuselage is in halves but one side has the front on it, the other side does not. Then here is the other side of the front. Now a portion of the wings we're going to take a look at here. Now there is a little bit of a blemish on the, the outer edge of the plastic here. It is completely smooth. It's just the way the, the plastic was injected into it. So hopefully you can still see all the detail on the wing. I had a friend of mine looking at this as well too and he pointed out this that uh, where the missile actually loads in here they've got it that all the detail is underneath here that if you don't put the missile on you still have got a lot of the detail showing up on it. 
There's that piece. And then here is, you get two of this next sprue here. And I'll show you close up. each one of the sprues here, a little pilot figure. Okay, next up, we have the uh, horizontal stabilizer as well as the nose cone sprue. I'll move that in there so you guys can see that a little bit closer. And next, I need your guys' help. So on the next sprue end, this is the B sprue, there is another horizontal stabilizer in here. And it appears it looks very, very similar to the other one. I don't see any major differences on it. This is the one that is actually called out in the instructions. And I, 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 is there two different types? Is there another variant of airplane coming? Uh, what's, what's the deal with that? Also, point out on these pieces right here, these are for the ability to fold the wingtip. So here is the folded wingtip pieces or the straight out regular flying version. And then you see some of the other parts on the sprue here. So if you know the difference, please go ahead and tell me down in the comments down below because I am not too sure about that. And I here's that, uh, you already saw this other sprue, but this is where those connection points are on the wing tips. So uh, you can make them, either, like I said, folded or straight out. And next up we have our armament. Now you get two sprues, so you get sparrows and sidewinders on this. And look at the way they separated these up. I guess this is nice this way that you only have like a half a split. That way you won't have one long seam in any one area. And there's those Sparrow missiles with the individual fins to put on there. Once again, like I said, two sprues of that. Next up, we've got uh, the cockpit area. And I'll flip that over now to let you see the actual inside of the cockpit. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of separate panels that you're going to put into place to create that cockpit. Let's see if there's any detail on this side we need to show you. And now we got a little sprue here. And there's another one. This is going to have our pylons as well as our landing gear on it. Now this piece, this, I think they did a really nice job on. That is really, really nice looking. And with some paint on that, I think that'll really pop. Show you the other side, which will be the inside, so I guess you wouldn't really need to see that. Yeah, I got to take a look at that again. That is really good looking there. We got one more small sprue right here. So here's our cockpit pieces. And 
here is our canopy sprue. And look at this unusual way they've molded this. Now, first of all, I super appreciate the fact that they have all of these braces all over it here to protect our canopies. Nothing worse than having something either cracked, broken, or or even like a scratch on it. That was terrible when that happens. So I think to me it did an excellent job completely protecting all of these pieces here. So now maybe the sprue had to be so, so long because of the way the molding was with that. I, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe is this, maybe it's some type of slide molding. I, well, yeah, it'd have to be some kind of slide molding to get pieces undercut like that. So very, very interesting. But there is still more. There is one more clear parts sprue. It's another piece of canopy, also with the bracing across the top to protect the top. Get you in close as possible on that. There we go. And there are two poly caps inside the kit as well, probably for the uh, some portion of the wings. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to show you guys the instructions and this will probably give you a little better idea because I'm going to have to admit I don't know all the parts of the, uh, the the airplanes like I would like a tank piece so I love the Phantom but uh, I'm not going to pretend I know all those things so I'm going to just take a couple seconds here And of course, I'm going to show you the instructions and I am going to show you every single page on the instructions here. I know a lot of people have asked for that and especially since this is a brand new kit and I'm not going to pretend I know all the names of the parts of the airplane, uh, some of the small parts. So this way you guys can see how each one of the things go together. They are just photocopies of the, the real instructions that will be coming soon. Oops, sorry about that. And if you want, just go ahead and hit freeze frame on your device so you can see close up on any of these. Well, there you go, guys. There is a quick look at the new F4B Phantom II in 48 scale from Tamiya. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash that like button right now. And also, if you enjoy getting a heads up on all the latest and greatest new kits, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time a new release video comes out. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.